More cute kids? Yeah, on a Friday night, great questions they've had. And let's find out the latest questions for Scott. Yes, indeed. We're going to talk severe weather again. That seems mm. to be the most interesting topic, topic for the kids. So we're still within that severe weather season. Let's take a look at the questions tonight. Hi, my name is Oliver. I and I go to Pioneer Elementary. My question is, how do tornadoes start? Hi, I am Victoria, and I go to Pioneer Elementary. And my question is, why do why do sometimes hairballs get as big as uh, as baseballs? Ah, yes, Victoria asked me why do sometimes hail balls get as big as baseballs and bigger. I'm going to show you a larger one coming up in a moment. But first, let's answer Oliver's questions about tornadoes and how they form. And what it has to do is this. During storms, you get very erratic winds, erratic shifting winds. It will be called wind shear. Wind shear is when the wind, one elevation can be blowing one way, another elevation can be blowing another way. And that's what's happening right here. We get a, a rolling motion of the wind, a rotor, if you will, along the ground. But near thunderstorms, everything Everything is being sucked up because everything climbs through a thunderstorm, clouds, condensation, uh, and then the heavy rain. And that rotating wall, that rotating wind will actually get sucked up vertically, and then you'll see the cloud come down as the energy really starts to spin inside the storm system. So it's taken a long time for scientists very recently to figure this out, but it's actually happening along the ground like this, and then it gets sucked up into the vertical direction. Now, with thunderstorms and those strong uh, updrafts in these thunderstorms, you can get hail and large hail indeed. Uh, look at this picture here of the hailstones coming through the car. Here's some pretty big hailstone, almost the size of baseballs here. And what's basically happening is this. As the wind is rushing up into our thunderstorm, the raindrops or, or snow is falling, and then it melts, and you start to get rain falling, and then it gets carried back up from an updraft, goes right back up, and this might be the track of a hailstone, where it goes up, it gets more water around it, then it refreezes, comes back down, then it might go back up again, and you get rings around the hailstones, and they continue to grow and grow and grow and this hailstone right here from 2010 in South Dakota now the largest hailstone on record eight inches in diameter you see the tape there from three inches here to close to 11 inches right over here so this is the largest hailstone surpassing the old record of seven inches in diameter that would be a large this is not actual size but that would be a large hailstone hitting you and you see there were more of them here as well in South Dakota so there you have it Hailstones get large because of all that strong wind. So you get ice falling from the sky in summer because of the strong updrafts. But then the hailstone gets so big, nothing's going to hold it up, and it comes crashing down to the ground. I'm just surprised that you don't have, like, dozens of deaths from people getting hit by something like you that. Know, the places where it happens, those people know to get inside. But, yeah, <laughs> people do get hurt. Yeah. They do well, get sure. hurt. Sure. Cars, yeah. too. Thanks, Scott. Yeah.